All right, 96 through 99. Uh, the perimeter of a rectangle is two is two times the width plus two times the length, where L is or W is the width and L is the length. Rearrange this formula to find the width. All right, so it's a um, literal equation, and I want to solve for the W. I want that to be by itself. So what's bothering it now is that the, I need to move the 2L over. I cannot combine P and 2L. They are not like terms. So I'm just going to write them all out. And then in order to isolate this W, I'm going to divide by 2. Why? Because 2 and W are being multiplied. Opposite operation, division. So I'm left with W equals P divided by 2L all divided by 2. Um, so in order to simplify this, I'm going to create two fractions. I'm going to create this fraction, and I'm going to create this fraction. So that's P over 2 minus 2L over 2, and those two simplify. So I'm left with P divided by 2 minus L. So that would be option D. 97. Which function can be used to model the data in this table? Okay. Um, well, I'm going up by 2, up by 4. Um, when I went up by 2, I added 1. When I went up by 4, I added 2. So let's stick 4 in there. So if I went up by 1 that time, I'm going to go up by 1 again. So definitely not multiplying by 3. Okay. Um, and then the other ones, let's plug in values. So let's plug 0 in here. So 0 divided by 2 minus 1, well that's 0, that would give me negative 1, which is what I want. So let's try this one. 0 minus 1 gives me negative 1, uh, that's kind of what I want. And then 2 times 0 minus 1 gives me negative 1 as well. So all of these are options, so let's try 2. So 2 over 2 minus 1, well 2 divided by 2 is 1, so 1 minus 1 is 0, well that gives me what I want. 2 minus 1 gives me 1. Oh, so we can cross out C because I'm looking for 0. And then 2 times 2 minus 1. Well, this is 4, and 4 minus 1 is 3. So that when we did it, that when we did it for the second set, we were able to cancel out B, C and D, so B would be our option. All right. Um, the function f of x equals x minus 9 is shifted 2 units up, vertical shift and three units to the left, horizontal shift. Select the new function. So horizontal inside the house, vertical outside the house. So my house would be um, x, and I'm moving three units to the left. Remember, horizontal is the opposite. So that's going to be x plus three. And then two units up would be a plus two on the outside. Um, sorry, plus 2 on the outside, okay? Um, oh, sorry, I started with a negative 9, so I need to remember that negative 9 is here, and then I added 2 to the negative 9, so that would be plus 7, so that would be D. My apologies. And then I, this was my initial equation I started with. All right, 99. Um, Vicky is studying French. She spends one hour reviewing each old chapter. She also spends a hundred, an hour and a half learning each new chapter. She spends at least 10 hours per week studying French. Which graph would represent um, the possible number of old chapters Vicky reviews and new chapters Vicky learns each week? So at least 10 means 10 or more. Okay, so 10 or more. Um, so that would be a solid line, right? If it said more than 10, it wasn't including 10. So it's not C and it's not D, but it's 10 or more. So I want the, the more version. The more version is above the line. So that would be B.